Hi. Howdy. Uh, it's Friday morning here, and, um, yeah, uh, let's get right into it here. Uh, I just watched Christy's video, and, uh, yeah, I got up early this morning, watched her video. I was really glad that it was posted, <coughs> and got right to work on our challenges this week. So, um, as you can see, I'm standing up, and there is definitely a reason why I'm standing up, people. So, uh, the long challenge this week is to find other ways to add extra exercise into our schedule. Well, this is something that I've kind of been wanting to do for since the beginning. And I have sort of done it. Um, it did. It does involve my stationary bike, and it did involve me bringing it up from the basement, which I already did last week. But today, uh, what I did to make it even better, to make me want to work out, was let's see if I can show you. First of all, I um, mounted my keyboard here and my mouse. Um, and let's see if we can get a better picture of what's going on here. So there's my exercise bike. And I have this shelf here now on my exercise bike with my keyboard and my mouse mounted. So now I can ride my bike while typing and actually doing regular computer work. See, there's my uh, screen, which I also raised up on this box here. Uh, so I'm pretty much all set. Um, I can't wait to start using it. So that is actually uh, my picture of what is inspiring me to work out again because it's right here. I mean, there is no ignoring it when I walk into the room. It's just right here. So uh, this is going to inspire me to work out. Um, I do have another short clip, which... Uh, definitely makes me want to work out and makes me happy which I will insert oh my god do you see this I have a very very sweaty face I just did level one of the biggest loser cardio and I have never sweat before this much in my life I am so excited and so pumped and I feel so good so yeah, uh, I think it's going to be a great week. Um, as far as last week goes, I did want to just say that I did get my water in. Um, I will post some pictures. I'm really sad that I missed out on that challenge because um, I definitely have some good ideas for some pictures for water. So I'll uh, post some of those and uh, what makes me unique. Um, there's so many things. There's so many things. But I would say the first thing that always comes to mind is that I am left-handed. And there are a lot of people that are left-handed, but um, not as many as right-handed. And it's funny because being left-handed, you're living in a right-handed world. Everything is set up for right-handed people. And because I'm not really all that stubborn or motivated to alter everything, I actually just learned to use the right-handed stuff even though I'm left-handed. So my whole life has been kind of adapting things in order to just use right-handed versions of everything. Even my mouse, keyboard, um, I play the bass guitar right-handed and I play the guitar right-handed and everything basically that I do is right-handed except for drawing and writing which is all left-handed. Another great weird thing that is unique about left-handed people is that they use a different side of their brain. And I don't know how true that is. I've never done any research, but I do think it's true because I definitely think a lot differently than a lot of people. I definitely have a different point of view on things. So, so today was great. Um, I got up and weighed in. Now, I didn't exercise for the last week and a half or whatever, how long, I can't remember even. Um, but I, I was eating right and I was drinking water <clears throat> during my absence and I did actually lose 0.8 of a pound. 
not a huge loss, but I'm not a huge loss person. Even when I'm working my ass off every single day and eating right and doing everything like that, I still only lose about 0.8 of a pound. So I am pretty happy with that. Um, I didn't gain, which is amazing. A lot of people on vacation do gain, and I did not gain. So I am very happy about that. And um, what else? Oh, yeah, I woke up early. I weighed in, and um, now I'm just going to try and catch up on my videos, on your guys' videos. And uh, I got right to work building this right after I saw Christie's video. So it's been about two and a half hours since I got up. I changed the seat. I adjusted a bunch of things. Um, and I think tonight I might oil the pedals or the chain or whatever. I don't know. My boyfriend knows about that stuff. So maybe I'll get him to do that. And I think I'm going to get a more comfy seat because already... In just trying it out and uh, watching some videos and catching up on some email and stuff I've already been sitting on this bike for at least an hour and a half of my morning of the two and a half hours that I've been awake and you know I'm not going like 40 miles an hour or whatever I don't I actually this the speedometer is covered up by this thing so I don't know how fast I'm going but hey I'm not just sitting here anymore you know so I'm gonna do my regular workouts <clears throat> Um, I'm going to try to use this bike a lot more while I'm just surfing around on the web because I do that all day and I always feel so guilty about it. And you know, um, every other little bit of movement, it helps. I'm going to be posting anything I can to Facebook to let you guys know what I'm doing and I think that I'm definitely going to make an effort to try and walk my dogs more or at least one of them and my boyfriend can walk the other one. And also, um, when I'm going to school now, I think... <clears throat> what I'll do is just uh, get off a few blocks before and walk a few blocks further or even walk downtown uh, where I change buses and then get on the regular bus and go home. Or I could even walk home, depending on the shoes I want to wear, you know. If I want to look nice and wear nice shoes, I'm not walking all the way home. But, you know, that's how it goes. Um, also, I think, you know, I might just have a lot of sex because, I mean, it doesn't burn that many calories, but, hey... It is extra calories and every bit helps, right?